Money YouTube, Martin O'Brien, Weekend Woodworks. Um, I've just been to uh, Mitre 10, bought a few things, and um, today I'm going to make this lamp. So, I've got this little bit of cowrie here left over, quite a long plan of it. Um, and what I've got, what I've done, it's it's bowed, it's bowed down uh, down the length. So I've made this. This is my jig, and um, for straightening wood in my table saw. So I'm going to take it's all set up, ready to go. I've put these uh, put these blocks in certain positions along the jig. A couple more here, um, and then the piece of wood fits into it. And then the back, and this is just MDF. The back of the MDF is straight, so that's going to go along the table. Saw so fence. Hopefully, if I can hold it straight enough, which I have problems doing. Um, and then there'll be a straight bit of wood. Once we've done that, that'll be a straight side. Once we've got a straight side, we'll put it through the table saw as normal and we're all good. So. So I just showed, thought I'd show you where this jig lives. Under the shelf. Got a couple of brackets. That's what you have to do in a very small workshop. So what I'm gonna do now is alter this fence to be the same to be just really tightly up to the wood like that now I'm going to feed this through and make this edge this far edge so that edge is flat now and straight I'm going to feed it through and get this edge straight back with a cup of tea. Cold in, cold in this workshop. Okay. Put that out of the way. Okay, so we've got this bit of curry. Now, I'm gonna chop it into strips. It's 120 mil wide, and I want the strips to be around about 20 mil each. So with the, taking the blade into consideration, which is about two and a half mil, we will get about five and a bit out of this. But first, I want to chop it into manageable, um, manageable bits. So, so end of the board to here is 650 from there to there is 650 from here to here is 650 and then on the end we've got this nice little natural kind of gougy type thing which we'll chop off and I might do something with that later on but we'll figure that out so
So, bought this new ruler today. Um, so I can measure things just a little bit easier. So I'm gonna make all of these strips about 20 mil. Um, one day I'll have enough money to buy a better table saw when we're, so I won't have to measure this each time. But for the moment, that's all I've got. So let's use this and we're gonna cut this, cut these into, into 20 more strips. So we're left with all of these timber strips. Three, six, nine, ten. Ten of them. And then this little piece with this cracking. So what I might do for that is use this top, um, cut it down its down its length. Um, and use that for the top or the base of this thing, but we'll see how it develops. We'll put it over there for now. So these, I'm gonna get my um, table saw sled and I'm gonna chop these, uh, I'm gonna mitre these. Um, well, first of all, I need to send, I need some uprights for each corner of this lamp. So, um, I need to make those first. Um, so let's see what size this, my new tape measure again, which is great, 50 mil. So we'll get, if these uprights are 20 mil each. We'll get four out of two, with a little bit left over. So that's two of those used. Um, then we've got eight left. So if we have those in half, then that means we will have uh, one, two, three, it'll be four high. So this lamp will be that high. with a gap in between each much for the light to come through. I'm not sure how that's gonna look. I think what I might do is um, get some spaces. Yeah, I think that would be pretty cool. That's just about big enough. Just have my son out here to give me a little bit of his opinion and he reckons that this layout is best big small big small big so we've got all the sides cut um so i'll just put those to one side um but then we need a a top at least for this thing so those sides are going to be connected with these these things in the middle so 
goes to one side as well. But we need a top. So what I've got, I've got these two pieces left. Um, but that was cut out of um, these. The, oh no, this was the end bit. This was the end of the board with that cracking. So what I think we're gonna do, um, I'm gonna chop these down to this down to size so it's equal this way to that way so it's a dead square then i think i'm going to leave that um crack exposed because it doesn't go right the way through um so i think that will be that will be pretty cool way eh? you know and then i could fill it with resin or something like that if i can get resin from anywhere i don't know whether i can this be in new zealand where you can't get much but um yeah so next is to chop this down um chop these so down so it's that square and also the back side of it's just got a little bit of a lump so i might just take a plane to that don't really want to put it through the thickness eh? so just get the plane Glue this sucker. Right, so we've got all of these bits cut out. Um, basically everything we need to put this thing together and the base over there drying. Um, so I'm gonna put all these together. What I think, the mitres look all good. I've just um, dry fitted one of them. Um, so the mitres look pretty good. So, what I've got to kind of figure out is how big these gaps are. So, I'll just show you um, a picture of what I'm making again. There you go, we're back. Um, so, I've got to figure out how, what the gaps are between, between each of these. So, I think this piece of wood is 20 mil, same as this. So I think if we worked at 20 mil, we shouldn't be far wrong. So let's um, use these as spacers. Okay, so 20 mil, maybe a bit narrow. So I'm gonna draw join these corners on the mitre. Now they're gonna be glued. Um, and then they're going to have on the inside corner, one of these uprights going along the inside corner. And I'm simply gonna glue it all together and maybe brad nail it from this side, from the inside, so you can't see any of the brad nails. And we'll just slowly build this up. So here's the beginning of the fail. I sh what I should have done 
is the corner uh, the I saw some in the man shed which is a shop in Waipapa which is a shop um, in the man shed I saw some uh, mitered corner vices um, or um, kind of grip things um, I should have glued all of the mitres together and made squares basically a lot of squares got all the mitres perfect and then i should have um stacked it all up and put this internal piece of timber on but i i'm putting the internal piece of timber on first trying to get one side right then i was going to do another one exactly the same and then i was going to try and get the mitres right in the end, um, I couldn't get any of the mitres right. Um, none of them were meeting on the corners correctly. The whole thing ended up being a bit of a mess with a hell of a lot of glue and splurge out everywhere. Um, so, yeah. There's one. <laughs> the side of the lamp's going to look like. We're just going to have to make another... Four. Okay, so this is it. That's what uh, that's what we're making. We've got the two uprights at the side, and um, we've got the the slats on the back, and then these are more are gonna go like that all the way around, and then we'll stand it up, which will look like that. So let's see if I can, which will look like that, which will look pretty cool. And then we'll put the top on. The top is drying over here and the top's got that little wee crack in the top, which is going to be sweet. So we'll have to cut that back, cut that, um, cut that down to fit in the, in the, uh, in the top. And then we'll see, we'll see how we go. So. Let's get into it. So I decided to sand every single piece down first to get rid of those um, circle marks of the table saw. So just spent a bit of time sanding here, getting them all smooth. Okay, YouTube. There's the lamp. Looks pretty cool from a distance. Um, I didn't film the construction of it because it was a nightmare. So this is a really big fail, really. From a distance, it looks okay. But you get close to it. Okay, it's got that um, crack in the top of it, which is cool. I could still fill that with resin. But unfortunately... I had to brad nail the outside of it because these mitres wouldn't hold together and what I didn't realize was when you've got a space that small to pin things in your brad nail it doesn't fit in there to pin it from the inside so it was all falling apart the glue was going everywhere but it still looks not too bad. I might try and fill the outside and sand it a little bit. It's only for my room. It's not for a present for anybody or anything. So I don't know, might not be too bad. Pretty cool design though. Might, um, I might make it again. So there you go, fail. Thank you for watching. If you watch this one, seems it says fail in the title. Um, like, subscribe, and share with your mates. Cheers. See you. Hi, YouTube. To celebrate my first furniture failure in my shed, um, I thought I would give you a little bit of an extra and give you a shed tour. So, there's the shed.
There's my uh, bonsais, my um, Jim Banana bonsais anyway, and those little cuttings coming on well. Got to do a bit of bonsai and um, got a load around the corner. So this is my shed. There's my uh, quite small. There's my um, Ryobi kind of really small bandsaw. Um, so there it is. Turn off the wall lights. Here it is, the shed. Don't get taken away by how big it is. Um, we might build on an extension this year, but we'll see. I've just got to get past the boss first. So um, let's start. So we've got the the bandsaw there, and then behind it, all of the uh, clamps, small clamps, big clamps. Um, it's just a little thing for all the pliers. Um, can fit a load more tools in that. Lucy, hey, what are you doing? Then we've got the uh, power tool holder, a couple of empty um, hooks, squares tunes and then something to hold my phone a little shelf to hold my phone um, a drill there knives chisels and all that business files and stuff measuring stuff hammers all different hammers pin hammers normal hammer soft hammers Mallets and stuff, uh, pens, glue, wood filler. Waiting for uh, tomorrow's tomorrow's job of filling some holes on the planters that I made for my wife. Now this is all the French cleat system, so you can move all of these around, move all of these all these things around wherever you want them. Everything's on the cleats, French cleat system. So, this is, um, so I can push my work up against, have my work pushed up against here. Keeps it, uh, keeps it nice and sturdy. I don't know he's in college. So I thought I'd make myself one. Power sockets everywhere. Cables running all around. Uh, my failure of a project today. So keep that's where I keep all my jigs. Miter saw with extraction. Extraction goes into that bucket down there, which is a cyclone. And then above it, you've got the router, router bits storage so in here in the back under here is a soundproof place where all where my vac uh, lives um thickness there on the shelf storage under here and you saw it now that's where i keep all my wood so pretty pretty light on wood and uh, new wood anyway a bit of maple there a bit of treated stuff um and this is all my scrap board all up here. All stores, storage everywhere. Storage everywhere. So that's uh, so that that's the jig that I made for the um, for the bevel. And then next to it, that's the that's the feed in and out table from the thicknesser. So everything's just all kept on the ceiling and stuff. Um, also got a jig kept under the shelf here. Just bought these from the hardware store today. 
all of these little storage things. This this shelf is connected quite quite cool. It's connected to the ceiling with that threaded rod. Pretty cool idea I stole from YouTube. All of this is from YouTube, really. Uh, here's a here's a good one. It's a bucket. Stole that idea. A bucket on French cleats. Wrap your cables around it, and I've got my got somewhere to keep my keep my rags. It's a holder for the saw, and a holder for the sander, and my uh, my grinder. There's Nicola. I want to ask you about my grape. What about my grape? Can I plant it in in your bonsai area? Hey. So yeah, that container for uh, my cloths, cool. I uh, got this little container for my sander, holder for my sander, right, and uh, my grinder and my saw. Pretty cool, it's my first one I made. Uh, Mitre saw there, under there is all just wood bits, bits of wood, painting stuff. Um, and my, table saw and my router bench so you can see it's tiny 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 need a bigger bigger shed so what might happen is double the size of the shed shed is now that big shed may be extended depending on negotiations to that whole patio area up to the concrete. So I'll be able to walk through here and into the shed. 2.7 meters added on to a 2.3 wide shed at the moment. So that'll make it a five meter by 4.8 meter shed, which will be pretty cool. Got this wood firewood at the side and then on the other side we've got this little shed on it which is for all the garden stuff which hopefully will become my dust extraction room when I build another shed over there to house all of the stuff that's in that shed washing line there you go okay so youtube if you like what you see hit like share and subscribe cheers